What's up everyone, my name is Biku and I am doing a follow-up video on my video that I did a little while ago which was explaining how to engrave single line text in Fusion 360. Now if you have watched that other video you'll know that it is a massive pain in the ass because Fusion 360 doesn't have a native way to do single line, or native, it didn't I should say, have a native way to do single line text and getting single line text is surprisingly not that easy. Now since that video Fusion 360 has added their own ways to do few, uh, single line text but now why would you need why would you need to engrave using single line text in the first place? Well normal text if I draw up a sketch normal text if you look at it at a glance is a single line but if you look at it it's actually made up of an outline or at least that's how Fusion 360 processes text so it doesn't see this as lines it sees it as an outline of what this would be so when you're engraving it wouldn't be engraving just along it it'll try to basically cut out whatever's inside of the of the outline of this text now that's fine for a lot of engraving but the issue comes in with engraving very very small detail um, and small text sub I don't know five millimeters it's very difficult to do with a cutter um, you don't even even a even a half millimeter cutter is still almost nothing for doing really small fine engraving and I had to engrave trophies and that is usually lots of small text on a trophy so what Fusion 360 has done now and has made possible is single line text built into it I'm not too sure when they actually added this, but it's somewhat recent. And as you can see, if you scroll all the way up to the top of all of the texts, they are .shx uh, files, or uh, fonts, as I should say. And if I click on one, you can actually see that it is actually just single lines if uh, as if it was a, a DXF file and it just creates these single lines instead of an outline of a text now that makes it a lot easier than using the other program that I used last time to create the f to create DXF files and import them into Fusion 360 this makes everything so much easier so how would you go about actually engraving something like this so what you would do, let's make a an object if you want to make a 50 by 50 millimeter random thing that we want to engrave words on, but very small words. How would we do that? So first, what we're going to do is create an offset plane by about 0.1 millimeters. The reason that we're doing this is because this kind of engraving is not done with rotary cutters typically. It's either done with a, a, a impact engraver like a Dremel engraver or using a drag engraver like a, a diamond drag engraver and when you're doing when you're engraving with those you're not actually cutting any material you're just moving across the surface of it so you can do the offset in your uh, CNC machine, but I prefer to actually have that little bit of an offset built into the CAD so that it makes setup a lot easier. Then what you want to do is you want to go create sketch and you want to create that sketch on that offset plane. Now you want to add text and you want to whatever text you want to make it. So this is a test and you want to make it with a single line text font but now obviously since we're going to be engraving something small let's make it something more like five millimeters that is very small text to engrave and that is not really possible with a rotary end mill and you can go smaller than this you can go two millimeters if you have an accurate enough machine or even one millimeter probably I, I'm not too sure what the smallest you can go is it depends on the tools that you're using but the theory you can go very very small uh, that you just couldn't do with a rotary cutter so finish this now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to manufacture let's make a setup quickly 
and we're going to put the orient or the positioning wherever we want it. Right now I'm just doing a test one so it doesn't really matter but usually what I would do is I would put it at one of the corners but however you want to do it which is easier for you to do for setup. Then we want to make the uh, stock as big as the piece that we are engraving because we're just engraving on the very very surface. Well I should say at very least you should have the stock match up to the top of your model. And now that we've got our setup, what we're going to use is the trace function. You can set your feeds and speeds to whatever your machine can do. You can go pretty fast with this kind of engraving because you're not actually cutting anything, you're just going across the surface. So it is you can you can make the feeds and speeds as high as your machine can go pretty much. Now for your tool bit, um, basically all that you need to do is I would make a new tool which is a chamfer mole just call it engrave and all that really matters nothing else really matters because the tool that you're using might look completely different to this depending on what you're actually using you could be using a diamond drag engraver or, an en or a dremel engraver or whatever it may be and all you're gonna do is just make your tip diameter zero. That will give you a nice point that will be a good representation of what your uh, cutter is going to be if you're doing this kind of engraving. Then you can, because it's now the text is now native in Fusion. Uh, when I did this last time you actually had to click each individual piece of text because it was essentially a DXF file and you had to click everything but because Fusion knows and accepts this as text you can just click on it and it has everything and that's it you're done this is so much easier than when I had to do this last time last time writing out a paragraph would take you probably an hour and a half to program it in CAD or in CAM. Uh, now you can do everything in 10 15 minutes. So if you want to see what this kind of thing looks like, if you want to go simulate, you can see that it is now happily engraving very, very small text. And again, you can go smaller or however big you want onto our little plaque. So I hope this video helps you with something. I hope it answers some questions if you've been trying to do this and haven't been able to figure it out. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. As you can see, this is just a test. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.